Hello everybody, oh god, I spit water on my top, look, and it is water. Hello everybody and welcome to That's Football, I'm Mark Goldbridge and we are live, live, live for Leicester against Spurs to complete the Premier League weekend. I hope you're all doing well. I'm never not live for the start of the game and um, sorry, I think we put quarter to eight, but I was on the United stand, that stain's getting bigger. Um, but uh, I'm sure it will dry. Uh, right, loads to get involved. Thanks everybody who tuned in at lunchtime for our new live Premier League show, by the way. Really enjoyed that. Some really good debate points as well. Lovely to see uh, everybody um, paying tribute to Craig Shakespeare as well, former Leicester coach who sadly passed away um, quite recently. Um, and uh, yeah, there is a, a standing of applause in the pouring rain. Comments yesterday in my match reaction. And... Look, it's a goal. Oh, what a clearance. I thought that was going to be a goal. I don't know who's kept it out. It's a front post flick. And it's another great save on the volley. I think that was Brennan Johnson. But uh, corner for Spurs there. One of them front post flicks that's going right in on the back post. And somebody has acrobatically got it out. Give him an Olympic medal. Someone call Paris. Is it too late? Because that was acrobatical. Um, here we go. Son's in again. He's going to get it into Madison. Oh, I tell you what, this, how many are we going to go for here? This could be three or four. They're all over him here. I don't know whether this is just great from Spurs or rubbish from Leicester, but it's Spurs annihilation here. This is Tom. Has McTominay said he won't leave? Madison, lovely play. Solanke, that's a penalty ref. Oh, just give the penalty. Son wouldn't take it anyway. I'll, I'll repeat my message again. I watch football on this channel and I enjoy it. I, and I don't know why you have, I've got no interest in Chelsea as a Man United fan. You are not on my radar. I'm looking at Man City, Arsenal and Liverpool as the three best teams in England. That's where I want Man United to be. I'm not interested in having one-upmanship with Chelsea. I don't think you're even a rival. For, when Mourinho was there, for a little bit, you were winning the league. You were a rival, but I don't see Chelsea's a rival. I see us as two clubs who are massively underachieving who need to do better. And at the moment, you need a striker. And if you had a striker, you'd be in the top four. Lovely play by Son. The identity to be related. Oh, what a goal! What a goal that is! Um, Pedro Porro, Madison. It's a lovely goal from across. And uh, finally, that Leicester defence has been broken down. Whether it's for the good of the game or not, I don't know. But it might open it up a little bit more because Leicester have been ridiculously defensive. But that's been coming for a very long time. A lovely little flicked header by Porro. It's a wonderful finish. Wonderful sort of curly cross from quite a central position from Madison. And it's curling in and he sort of ran into the box. Little flick. And I tell you what, there's a lot of FPL people who have Porro in the team. And uh, there won't be any sorrow in their house. Lovely little header. Lovely goal by Porro. 1-0 to Spurs. Totally deserved. Saar. Solanke's not going to score, is he? Go on, Solanke. Oh, straight at the bloody keeper. I jinxed myself there. Well, I didn't. I was right. I didn't jinx myself. I was actually right. Oh, I need him to score. I've got him in the FPL. Straight at the keeper. He did well. He went for power. Inspiring situation where a team gets promoted to the Premier League and they're going to get two separate points deductions. I mean, you're... Oh, it's got to be a goal. What are Spurs doing here? Vardy. I've jinxed him. 1-1. One, one. Vardy. Easiest goal he'll ever score. He's absolutely ecstatic. Chat shit, get banged. What is Spurs defence doing here? I mean, they're literally not there. Jamie Vardy, unmarked, on the six-yard box, dead central from a cross that wasn't even that unpredictable. It's shocking, shocking, shocking defending from from uh, another London club. Cross comes in. They don't deal with the first one. Van der Ven's terrible on the first one. And Romero, I mean, look at this. 
It's just bad defending from Spurs. The first cross could have gone in, but they're not marking. They're not marking there. That is bad, bad, bad. Vardy's got to score that, and he obviously clearly does. But um, if he misses that, that's a, an absolute clangor. So we spoke about this. Makes the game interesting. But Spurs can't be coming away from here with a point. You'd be fuming. You'd be fuming. He's going to take off um, Brennan Johnson. It's all Leicester at the moment. Here's Ndidi. Side netting. Uh, and such tryhard says, if we sign Sander Burge, we are cooked. Vardy's through. Oh, he's probably got to score that one. He's got, that's a, that's a, that's got to be a goal. You put money on it. He's onside. To be fair, he's a bit wider than I thought. But that's a great chance for Vardy. Nil, And then you go there, crap. Um, Leicester, oh no, he's not going anywhere here. Oh, what a cross. Why didn't you volley it, you prat? Why is then Diddy not volleyed that? Vicario's furious with Bergbell for allowing the cross to come in. He lost the ball and uh, didn't stop the cross either. And Vicario's not happy with him. No, to be fair, I don't think and Diddy's ever going to volley that, is he? This is not going to be a good result for Spurs unless they can win it. They'll be disappointed with this. What are you thinking, Spurs fans? You'd be disappointed. You'd be saying two points dropped. And from Leicester, you'd be saying great start. I think at 1-0, based on the first half, Spurs should have had this game wrapped up. The fact that they haven't, they'll be feeling very, very disappointed in themselves. You'd have to say it's two points dropped from Spurs. And you'd have to say bloody good effort by Leicester to stay in the game uh, yeah it's it's been a bloody nightmare but that's a terrible result for Spurs really I mean it's not terrible because they didn't lose but you know that's a good result for United Chelsea Newcastle Villa because we're all in the race for fourth place and you'd look at that game and say you'd expect Spurs to have started that with a win and it's two points dropped in the race for top four already by Spurs so Oh, Bridge, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.